This video is sponsored by Sky Children of the Light. Thanks so much for your support. Hello guys, this is Svetlana from Comic Cosplay. And as you know, I have two wonderful corgis and this is Zelda and this is Midna. And I actually got a lot of questions how I keep my cosplay area pet friendly and yeah so today i thought i do a little video of how i train them so they don't kill themselves in my workshop area and yeah how i keep everything pet friendly i have to mention though that we got zelda and midna as puppies like first we got zelda and this was my very first dog and midna we got her one year later so is, she is younger and basically could actually learn a lot what zelda already learned before and so it was actually much much easier to train them since we got them already as puppies and they could instantly get used to like how benny and i work like to the workshop and like especially to like all the dirt and everything we produce so basically here we actually um placed a huge playpen and there we placed zelda and midna inside so actually they could stay safe within the playpen and Benny and I could st still carefully work on the costumes and on, on our projects and yeah basically you know like we we produce like a lot of foam scraps and like fabric scraps and everything is like super messy and dirty and everything and especially as puppies they want to chew on all the tiny little things but this way they didn't have any access to that and also in addition to that um, they are actually also could get used to like all the noises for example here is like my dremel station and the dremel is really loud and especially also like the bandsaw or like the vacuum cleaner and like this way they actually learn that like all the noises they're fine they're totally used to that and the funny part is actually you know like when i'm going to my dremel station and like send all my pieces and like my costume stuff and everything. Zelda and Midna, they love the sound of the Dremel for some reason so much that it's actually like a lullaby. Lullaby, like what's this word? I don't know, but like a falling asleep song and they totally love it. So they then just lay next to that and fall asleep and it's really cute, but also a little bit dangerous because there's like all the foam dust and we have to put them away, but still it's cute. <laughs> And while they were still in their playpen, I actually had to teach them that they are still safe once we actually leave them out. So, you know, like when you craft, you, cre uh, you create a lot of mess, you like, you have like foam scraps, like fabric scraps laying around, and they can be actually very, very, very dangerous to pets if they chew on them, like if they eat them, and like they can even die from that. And like our workshop, it's like, huge it's gigantic and it would be impossible for me to take care of Zelda and Midna all the time you know so I wanted to train them that they actually leave my materials alone and even treat it as kryptonite and uh, you might know the command like leave it but I wanted to have more of that I wanted that they actually like as I said they treat it as kryptonite and completely ignore my foam scraps completely ignore all my materials and so I don't have to worry about that and I basically just nein just show it to them and they were not even supposed to sniff on it fine just like that you know they they should actually look away and you know completely ignore it fine just like that you see like midnight is doing fine nein fine fine Zelda Fine, Zelda. And just always, always repeat it, especially, you know, like sometimes they kind of forget it. Zelda, Mina, my platz. Kind of forget it. So actually repeat this, this training every few weeks. So make sure they're totally safe. Just like that. Zelda, nein. So it's fine. And they're not even supposed to look at it. And like this way, I can make sure that nothing will happen and I can also like just leave all my materials here or I can also leave like all my my props or like you know like all that kind of stuff on the ground and I make sure that nothing will happen which is very important. See? Perfect. Fine. 
The thing is though, Zelda and Minar, they are still animals and like at some point they cannot control themselves. Like this for example is the top of my dress form and yeah you already see some bites. It was for just a few minutes on the ground and Minna loves it. Minna nein. Minna. Like I can tell it her to leave it like as many times as I want. I'm pretty sure she will still get it. And there's also and a uh, quite weird love for bobbins. Nein, Minna. Nein. And I know that if I leave it on the ground, they will take it. Like, I mean, I uh, give them as an alternative, like a piece of wood, for example, but it's just not as interesting for some reason. So I want to tell you, like, if you still have pets, you know, you still constantly have to look for them and like still make sure that everything is like, not laying around on the ground and still have to make sure they stay safe. Da, 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 da. You see, it doesn't work. Nein, nein, uh -uh. nein, <laughs> doesn't work. Nein, uh -uh. so it's fine, so it's fine. So it's fine. So. One trick I'm very proud of is actually the fabric labyrinth. Uh, like, you know, when you're sewing, you put like all the fabric on the ground and then your pets want to step on it or lay on it or anything. So I wanted to make sure that Zelda and Minna doesn't touch my fabric as well at all. And to train that, I actually pee, uh, used a piece of fabric and then Call them to me. Let's see if this works out on the first try. Zelda! Zelda! Mm. I need something to convince her. Zelda, come here. So is fine. So is fine. And as you can see, Zelda and Minna, they're actually trained to not step on the fabric. Let's see if this works with Midna as well. She is uh, sometimes a little bit too excited. So Midna, huh? almost worked out fine 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 and the way i trained it is actually like every time they step on the fabric meet na nine nine i had to crack them minna and let's see again ah, 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 ah. so zelda come here zelda fine Fine. It's a little bit harder with Minna though. Zelda, come here. Fine. Fine. But mostly works out. Mostly. Fine. So now let's make this a little bit more challenging. Let's see if this will work out. So I'm running around the fabric myself. Zelda and Minna follow me. So it's fine. So it's fine. So, and I basically just copy what I do, mostly. Zelda, come. Come, Zelda. So is fine. So is fine. 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 So, let's see if this will work out. So, so come here. Yay! Fine! Fine! It worked! Yay! Good game. Good gemacht. Fine, Zelda. Fine. Fine. Good job. So. Now, another trick is actually just to keep everything really, really clean so they are safe. Because, you know, like I get questions so many times like, oh my God, how do you keep your workshop so clean? Why is everything so nice? And yeah, like so clean, clean. But the answer is really, I just want to keep Zelda and Midna safe. Because, you know, like, while they are trained not to chew on any of my materials, they are still licking their paws constantly, maybe because they're bored or whatever. But basically, um, if if I like Dremel anything, like on my Dremel station, there will be still always foam dust or, you know, like some plastic wick fibers and stuff like that. And if they lick on their paws, like they get it on their paws and then they get it in their mouth and that's really, really not good for them. So. 
The answer is really, I just like clean my workshop constantly and I actually use my vacuum cleaner like two or three times a single day sometimes. And you know, like this is the reason why everything is actually so clean and uh, mostly actually always clean, just because I wanted to keep them safe, you know? Here are the paws. Da, Zelda, Pfötchen. Zelda, Nene. Zelda, Pfötchen. Da, Pfötchen. See? Yeah. Anderes? Yeah, look at these paws. Fine, Zelda. Fine. Here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, see? Now, in addition to that, Zelda and Midna, they're also very, very understanding. Since we got them as puppies, they totally know basically our lifestyle and, you know, they also know corn crunch, for example. So usually we walk them uh, like around three hours a day, but Zelda and Minna, they're totally understanding that, for example, when we are doing YouTube videos, they don't get any attention from us because everything needs to be super quiet and then they're just sleeping. Or if we have to finish something and like work a lot during the day, they are totally fine just to get like, you know, they can do their business and get like only 30 minutes of walkie time and they simply sleep the rest of the day they don't want to get like any any attention they don't want to get like any playtime they just sleep because they know we are stressed and we have to work and this is really really nice and i mean like while corgis actually um i would say like mid or high energy dogs Zelda and midna they totally understand that sometimes we are really really busy and then they are also very very patient with us and I know Zelda and Midna are incredibly cute and you surely enjoy so far every single minute of this video. But before we can show you even more of them, a word from our sponsor. Our sponsor today is Guide Children of the Light. And this is actually a game from that game company. And yeah, Benny and I, we were huge fans of Journey and also Flower. And exactly these makers, they actually made a new game. And this is Sky Children of the Light. It's available on Switch and also on mobile. Sky is actually a very social and interactive game and you can play it with up to seven other players. Here you can make new friends, you can make music together, you can interact with others and explore the world together. Sky is a super peaceful and like really nice and like chill game. So if you want just to hang out with your friends, if you want just to relax after a busy day, it's perfect. Also the game is like super pretty and artistic. Like it has like a very specific art style and like all the architecture and like the world is just in general so pretty. And especially the music totally remembers me to all the movies of Studio Ghibli. Just like super, super pretty. Also the game never gets boring because every three months you have seasonal adventures with new challenges and more things to do. And from now till September 19th there is a special event called the Season of the Little Prince which is actually based on the popular French children books. So if you want to get into Sky this is now just the perfect time and for that uh, just check out the link in the video description down below. The game is completely for free and as I mentioned it's available on Switch and also on on mobile. Thanks again to Sky for sponsoring this video and now let's continue. Another very helpful skill we uh, taught them is actually that they can stay alone completely like with any problems. For example when they were still very small I first left them alone like in a room for a few minutes and then a little bit longer and then we also le like left the apartment for a few minutes and now since they're fully grown up they are totally fine if we leave them um, like for several hours or like the whole evening when we go away and they're even okay if we go to a convention and we leave them for example with Benny's parents uh, for a few days and they totally love it actually and you know this is also very very helpful especially because you know they have constantly access to the workshop for example it's not separated by a door but basically they are just the stairs um, to our living area so they can constantly come in and go out whenever they want and you know like I always want that I like I can trust them so even if I'm not watching even if I'm not there 
they won't chew on anything, they won't destroy anything and they are totally fine. So when we are gone, they're actually in sleeping mode and like I actually even tested it. <laughs> it was a very, very huge challenge for them, I would say. So actually I ordered a fresh, delicious pizza, salami pizza and yeah, actually opened the box and left it on the ground in the living room. And then Benny and I left the apartment and yeah they didn't touch it like they let it completely there and like didn't touch it didn't want it okay i'm pretty sure they wanted to eat it but they didn't so now that i know that they can leave a pizza i'm also very convinced that they can also leave my stuff alone if i'm not watching also a really funny part is that since we're making this youtube video Zelda and midna fall instantly into sleepy mode because they know they are not supposed to make any noises. And this is why they're just laying around since they know we are busy. And the funny part is Zelda and Midna are also totally, I would say like influencer trained. So basically when we are making videos and they are not supposed to be quiet, like for example, when I'm doing like a dressing up of a costume or anything, they want to get the attention as well. So Salda and Minna always come next to me because they see that like Benny is looking at them with the camera because he's filming me right now and they want to pose with me. And this is so cute and like so sweet. And in addition, it gives me actually more likes and followers, which I also very appreciate. <laughs> Yeah, and as you can see, Zelda and Minna are really, really awesome and it's very easy to have them here in the workshop and we were very, very thankful to get them as puppies, but I'm also sure you can teach this an older dog as well and maybe even cats. I'm not really sure about that though, <laughs> so good luck with that. And this was basically my very last point and yes, I know it was not so much about workshop safety, but like to be honest with you, I get always so many questions from people who want to see specifically Zelda and Minna. So I thought it's about time to make a new video with Zelda and Minna. I actually made one in the past for people who thought about like getting a corgi and I wanted to show that like having a dog is a lot of responsibility and I hope this video video is helpful as well so check that out in the video description down below and other than that I really hope you enjoyed this video and also like Zelda and Midna and to see like so much of them um, yeah if you have any questions like especially about like the training methods or anything else about corgis leave me a comment down below I love to get your comments and yeah uh, or just tell me why dogs are so much better than cats <laughs> and yeah if you don't know what to write as always just write on corgi and join the corgi squad and support us especially with the youtube algorithm uh, like and subscribe hit the notification bell also thanks a lot to all our patreons or if you want to consider to support us on patreon and well thank you very much for watching and see you very soon in the next video bye bye and now a last special, let's see what kind of tricks Zelda and Minna can do. So first give Pa Zelda Fötchen, anderes Wein, so and she gets a treat, then high five, high five, high five, Wein, Wein, Minna wants to demonstrate it as well. High five. Fein. Fein. Then turn around. Dreh dich. Dreh dich. Fein. So, lay down. Platz. 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 And ping. 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 Fein. So. Now roll over. Platz. Platz. Mach die Rolle. Fein. Do you enjoy that? I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, what do we have? Um, boop. Boop. Fein. So, and these were all the tricks Zelda and Minna can do. Oh, yeah. And bark. Woof. 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 Yeah. Woof. Woof. The 
doesn't work so well. <laughs> right, so leave me a comment if you want to see any other tricks or what kind of tricks I shall teach them. Right, I'm slowly out of ideas. And now, bye bye. Fine. Fine. Now, where the hell did Svetlana go again? Oh, never mind that. Then I'm here to thank all of our super sponsors for this week's episode, which is Backslash Cosplay, Dyer Sloth, Jessica Burton, Lisa, Louisa Paris, Maloops, and Nikarazo164. Thanks so much for your support on this week's episode, and also to all the other Patreons who support our channel. Thank you very much, and see you next time again. Bye bye.